Alright, I'm back. So, <clears throat> as you can see over here, I have a infinite water source, and I decided to put all this in this little indent I made right off here. So now, I want to make some fluid ducts to pump it out of here and into my steam dynamos. So how do we make fluid ducts? And we need hardened glass. Oh crap. Shit. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess for the time being, I'll just place one steam dynamo. So as you can see, that's going to put water in there until that's full. And we just have to put some coal in there, and then it'll start making steam, which will then start making uh, the redstone flux. So, <coughs> leadstone energy conduits is pretty much what we're going to need. Lead, glass, and some redstone. And then we'll start making the machines so then we can get some fluid ducts so we can have more than one steam dynamo. So I have some glass. Do I have lead? There's some lead. I think I... Yep, I have more. Perfect. It's night out. I'm not seeing any mobs out and it's kind of... weird. Hold on. I think I'm going to have to go figure that out because... Yeah, I'll be right back, because I'm going to figure out why there's no mobs. Okay, and I'm back. There we go. That's better. Well, it seems that I put it my game mode on peaceful at some point. I think it was probably on one of my other worlds I was just messing around with, and they were getting in the way. I don't know. I don't remember. All right, so lead. Lead, lead, lead. Well, <coughs> so that's going to create a... There we go. So, if we put that in there, that should give us two blocks of lead. So, what else are we going to need? Well, we're going to need the pulverizer, <coughs> which is just another machine frame, a piston, redstone, redstone reception coil, which means I'm going to need more gold. I don't think I have any more gold. <coughs> That's kind of a problem. So, note to self, I'm going to need to go get some gold. So, I guess what else am I going to need? I'm going to need the induction smelter, which, again, is, okay, I'm going to need a lot of gold. Yeah. Okay. How am I going to get gold? I guess that's the... big question here. So... Well, another thing I want to do is make a strong box. Which is just a chest with tin. Hardened strong box is invar. How do I make invar? Invar blend, which is pulverized iron and pulverized furnace. So I'm going to need that pulverizer. I think there was another way. No, that, that doesn't look like a good idea. Oh, if I just take iron ingots and furnace ingots and an induction smelter. Okay. I guess that's one way. Get some slag off that. Oh, hmm. Okay. So, I also want to make an igneous extruder. Now this, you can use water and lava in order to make stone, cobblestone, or obsidian. So, since I don't... Well, that kind of looks cool. Since I don't have... Um, diamonds or anything to mine obsidian I think the next best thing is to do an igneous extruder unless I want to go mining for diamonds and I really don't want to do that so I think I have everything I'm gonna need so let's see igneous extruder need another one of these bam done piston I do not 
But I should have everything. Let's see, I have the cobble. Whoa. I should have wood somewhere. I have three spruce planks, which... There we go. So... Make one of, I don't need 16 of them. <laughs> Just one. Pneumatic servo. There we go. I'm out of glass again. Alright. <clears throat> Let's just get eight pieces of glass. I mean, eight pieces of sand. There's five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, let's just get rid of this. It'll free up us a little bit more room there. Alright, awesome. <coughs> so, I do not have any coal. There we go. And then sand. I just need two pieces. <coughs> but yeah, the strong boxes are really cool, and I think I'm going to get one here in a second. Because it's like, literally like a portable chest. You can store stuff in it, pick it up, and the contents will be saved. So, okay, now that I have that. Igneous extruder. There we go. So we're going to plop this down right over here. Oh, whoa, whoa, where'd you come from? I thought I had this area all lit up. Or do I... S did I open something? Whoa, lag. Hmm. Oh, right up there. I see it. And we're getting laggy. Okay, <clears throat> and after that crash, I think I may have figured out what the problem was. And it might have been computer craft. I'm not 100% sure, but I took it out just to be on the safe side. So I'm just going to kind of go around and light the place up a bit because spiders I don't like. Really annoying. <coughs> I mean, I know I probably won't be able to stop anything that may spawn down there from showing up, but it's down there and I'm not worried about it. <laughs> and I think I have the downstairs lit up pretty well. Okay. So, what were we doing? What were we doing? Right. So we have the igneous extruder. So, we need to fill it with water. Oops. Whoopsies. And then I'm going to need to fill it with some lava. I believe making four pieces of obsidian will be good enough for now. Let's make sure that doesn't screw anything up. Okay, good. So, I'm actually going to make three more buckets. Because buckets I'm going to have to use for a lot of the thermal expansion machines. And i got to have enough inventory spaces. So let's go down and get some lava. So then, that will make four obsidian blocks, which can be used for various things, but at least for now, we'll have a way to get obsidian without mining it. <coughs> Oops. 
And I'm thinking of using one of those obsidian pieces to make a pickaxe head to make something... No, actually, no. I won't need to. Because I'm going to make a lumite. And a lumite would be able to mine obsidian. So that's what we're going to do. No need to worry about stupid stuff like making an obsidian pickaxe head. I'll just make a lumite. <coughs> and then of course we can use a lumite to mine ardite and cobalt when we go to the nether to make the best material known to man, manulium. Alright, so we're just gonna plop you in there. And pluck you, you, and you. <coughs> and it's already started working. <coughs> and the igneous extruder is very nice because it does not need any electricity at all. So I might even move this in a second here. There we go. Four pieces of obsidian. Alright. So the next thing I need is... I need to make a, a crescent hammer. Silver and iron. That way I can pick up anything that needs to, uh, I need to move without it utterly breaking. So, like that, and then silver in the middle. There we go. And this is actually also really neat, because you can use it to move some things around. That, it's kinda cool. Okay. <coughs> So, next thing I said I wanted to do was make a strong box. And it's pretty cheap. But look at this. It isn't very big, but say I wanted to keep my ores and that in there. Pick it up. <coughs> and look at that. You know exactly what's in there. It's pretty nice. Then plop it back down, access it, pick it up. Now what's also cool is... Say... I need more tin. So... Say... I had another strong box. <coughs> and that's where I'm keeping some cobblestone. Pick that up. Put the strong box in the strong box. And there. I'm carrying a whole bunch of stuff in one strong box. But there's also another strong box in it. It's pretty dang awesome. <coughs> so, two strong boxes. I think that should be good for a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna need while working around. <coughs> and of course, you can upgrade them, so use a strong box with some invar and you get a hardened strong box but then say you wanna upgrade that again get some hardened glass and you get a reinforced strong box now the best one is very expensive to get because you need ender enderium and that's actually made <coughs> by getting some enderium blend in py pyrotherium dust so this is Shiny in tin, along with resonant ender bucket, which is um, liquefied ender eyes or ender pearls, <coughs> and then this is redstone, coal dust, or pulverized coal, and blaze powder. So it's not exactly the cheapest stuff to get, but it makes the highest tier. Um, items within thermal expansion. So when we actually get around to getting a whole bunch of stuff, we'll start upgrading to that. But first thing we need is lead, glass, and redstone. Because the hardened ones you upgrade with invar. But we just want lead for now. Oh. Might be useful if I grab some of this stuff. Where'd my glass go? There we go. 
So we're just gonna make all this because they're gonna come in handy. So let's just pile the rest of that away. <coughs> all right. So for now, we'll place that there. Turn that. And then we'll run this across here. And the first machine we'll do is right there. Okay, that's empty, so I'm going to just pick you up for now. And you know what? I'll just place you right there. For the oh, right, I'm starving. Got it. Alright, so say you place these down and then you need to pick them up again. Just shift, right click, and they come up very easy. So, what do I need? I need a pulverizer, which means I need gold. Right. Um... The redstone furnace is cool, but really we don't need that at the moment. We're going to need two more pieces of gold, which we currently don't have. So I think I'm going to go back down to my mine and mine for some gold. So I'll be back in a second. 